Good evening. Oh, excuse me. Good evening. I don't need this since we're social distancing. But uh, I've been told that I look a little bit like Hudson Maxson. But I'm not. I'm Rich Romeo, secretary of the Lake Apacong Foundation Board of Trustees. Of course, I do look like Hudson Maxson because of the social distancing practices that we've all been following due to the New York, New Jersey COVID-19 pause. Evidently, Mr. Maxim cultivated this same look approximately 100 years ago during that pandemic. The Lake Apacong Foundation had planned to hold tonight's event in person, but again, due to the pandemic, we are holding this event as we are all of us doing most things these days, virtually. Lake Apacong is a beautiful place. I first came here in August 1991 while I was uh, dating my now wife, Terry. Terry had just purchased a house on the lake. And I remember sitting in her house, just, which is now our house, watching the boats go by in River Sticks Cove. As many have heard me often say, I met an attractive single young woman with a house on the lake. My mama didn't raise no dummy, so we got married. So although my wife likes to take credit for bringing us here, that may not actually be the case. I'm sorry for those who may have heard this before because I like to brag about this, especially to Marty Kane, that there is written evidence that my family was present in Lake Apacong in the 1800s. That's even before Marty Kane came here. Well, uh, given Marty's age, maybe, maybe not that much before. Everyone knows that small... Uh, island of rocks just off Bertrand Island, which is called Bedbug Island. I've seen old maps showing that back in the 1800s, that land was called Romeo Island. Now, I don't know how the name changed to Bedbug and how the Romeos lost that land to the Bedbugs, but evidently we did. So, maybe I really am somehow distantly related to Hudson Maxson. I'm just saying. Our lake outside is really a gem, and we, we are all its custodians. And we have to take steps to protect our lake. And all of you have done just that, by graciously supporting the foundation in substantial ways. In its short existence, the foundation has done and is continuing to do many great things. Undertaking scientific water quality studies, funding increased state police patrols, holding cleanups, block parties, setting up the dock numbering system to assist first responders in reaching their destinations quickly, creating guides, preserving our history by purchasing the landing train station, and something I'm very, very proud of, having educational programs like our very popular floating classroom. You should see how excited these school kids are when they are looking at stuff under a microscope. And all of you helped make that possible. In order to accomplish things, it takes time and it takes money. And the foundation would not have been able to do any of these things without your kind support. We are enormously grateful to you these accomplishments are your accomplishments. And as you all know, every year the lake faces new challenges. Harmful algae bloom, or HAB, increased weed growth, concerns about water quality, just to name a few. And of course, our entire society is now in the midst of a pandemic, the likes of which we have not seen in over 100 years. But I am confident that we will get through all of this that all of us and our lake will flourish and survive. Tonight, we are very grateful to Peter Toth, an internationally recognized Hapakong resident for donating his time and his great talents to us this evening. Hungarian pianist Peter Toth is one of the most recognized artists of his generation. He has performed countless concerts in Europe, Asia, South America, Australia, and the United States. Mr. Toth has won top prizes at numerous international piano competitions 
including performing classics created by Handel, Mozart, Schubert, Beethoven, and Chopin, just to name a few. Mr. Toth is also a piano faculty member at Fairleigh Dickinson University. And now, thanks to his generosity, Mr. Toth will be performing virtually here on Lake Apaca. We would like all of you to enjoy this wonderful, wonderful performance as our way of saying thank you. Please sit back, grab a cocktail, and enjoy what will be a spectacular performance. As you can imagine, I'm required to make this one commercial announcement. If Mr. Toth's performance inspires you to donate to the foundation, of course, we can accommodate you. Please refer to the links on the screen or just go straight to our website, www.lakeapakongfoundation.org uh, and click the donate button. Enjoy the performance. I'll talk to you later. Thank you.
Wasn't that spectacular? I hope you all enjoyed this evening's performance as much as I did. And to think we have such incredible local talent. Please again consider your support of the Lake Kapakong Foundation. No matter how large or small, we appreciate your donation. We hope to see you on the lake soon. During these times, I like to leave you with this thought. Think positive and test negative. Good night, be safe, and stay well.